Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a laminar flow hood for growing mushrooms. A laminar flow hood is one of the most useful tools you can use in mycology because it prevents contamination of your mushroom cultures. The blower motor on top brings air into the box which is forced through the HEPA filter creating a stream of sterile air over the working area in front of the flow hood. This laminar flow hood is made up of three main components which are half inch sheets of MDF particle board, a HEPA filter, and a compatible blower motor. Yeah, OSHA would come and give me a... Right. Yeah. yeah, I've seen the ones that stop if you put a hot dog there. Yeah, oh yeah. Stop. <laughs> yep. Yeah. This is our extra piece here. Yeah. Now you can make whatever you want with this extra. You'll need to cut five square panels from the MDF measuring for the two sides. It's the same measurement, which is 25 inches by 25 and a half inches. For the top and bottom piece, they're both the same measurement, which is 25 and a half inches by 24 inches. And then that just leaves the back piece, which is 24 inches by 24 inches. I'll leave all the measurements in the description of this video, including the links to the compatible HEPA filter and blower motor. A clean room grade laminar flow hood can cost thousands of dollars and shipping is usually $300 so making your own flow hood is more affordable and this build specifically is around $500. Alright guys so the next step that we're going to be doing here is we're going to cut out this square so first of all Hold on, you're going to make sure this is where the blower motor is going to go. Right here we're going to cut this opening out. Yep cut the opening out. Alright Irish man. Okay, so now we're going to be using the jigsaw to go ahead and cut this square out. Yes, sir. I have built this kind of flow hood a few times and they work amazing for many years without even replacing the filter. The longevity can be increased even more if a pre-filter box is installed around the blower motor on top. Alright, what's the next step? You cut it out, folks. Alright. One goes right here. Okay, so these shimmies we're going to put in here so the filter stays in position. Oh. You know what I mean? Yep. So yeah. we're putting these shimmies here. After all the pieces are measured and cut out, it's as simple as constructing a box around the HEPA filter. You can use an air nailer or a drill with screws to attach the panels together. Yep. Got it. Alright, now just spin it around. We'll do this side. Gaps will just have to fill up with some silicone. Easy! Ah, Where were you at? Where, she Where was she? Do you have a pen or something we can mark that with? Can you do that thing? Scapule. We'll do that around. Here we're marking and drilling four holes around the outside of that rectangle that we cut out earlier where the blower motor will be held into position by four bolts.
After attaching the blower motor, I recommend running a bead of silicone around the flange to make sure that it's airtight. Yep, now it's time to put the back on. After you're done building the flow hood, you have the option of building a small box around the blower motor and attaching a pre-filter for extra protection. You'll have to wire up this blower motor to a three-pronged power cord. You could also wire it into a switch, which I did on the last laminar flow hood I built. We just put like a light switch on the side of the flow hood that turned it on and off. You should also fill in any gaps with some silicone. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you build a laminar flow hood. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Or you can join the new Discord community and ask your questions there. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> He's got his little leg. <laughs> no, you could be right here. Thank you.